deep in the backfield. Also Richardson in the motion, fakes the handoff straight ahead, and there he goes, first down and more for Ingram. And you talk about explosion plays, look how quickly he hits the hole, I mean, from seven yards back in the backfield, and he gets through the hole before you can blink, moves the chains once again, keeps the clock running, now they're in respectable field goal range at worst. Which would make it a two-possession game and really put things away. There, there's a word they use to describe running backs like Ingram. He's a gouger. Yes. He just gouges defenses, gouges yards. And lo and behold, McElroy now lines up as a receiver. Ingram will take the direct snap. This could get interesting. You see Ingram there beside the numbers at the top of your screen. And it is Ingram dancing around one man to the turn point, to the 10. Riding the man down inside the five. Oliver pulls him down, 21 more for Ingram. Yeah, he's just starting to wear the game cuts down a little bit now. It's been all Ingram on this drive. As we said, well over 200 yards. The guy comes up big in big games. Just a sophomore, had the 150 yards against Virginia Tech, 172 yards a week ago in the big game against Ole Miss, and continues to add to it here. Good blocking downfield by his tight end down the sideline. And the smell of the end zone. They don't have an offensive touchdown tonight, and they only had one, I believe, a week ago. So this potent Alabama offense hasn't really been able to sniff the end zone too much. A lot of field goals the last two games. Look at that pursuit, though, by Eric Norwood, showing some of his wheels. McElroy back, flips it to Ingram, cuts it back inside. Ingram, end zone, Alabama touchdown. Only fitting that Ingram would punch it in for his 11th touchdown of the season to lead.